we've been in lots of good schools, even a few great ones. At the same time, there's a place beyond greatness. I know it's bigger than me, and it's bigger than you too, but it's not bigger than us. What we're after is not greatness. Greatness is a state of being. We're after something beyond greatness. It's more a state of becoming. It's the journey to extraordinary. When I think of Eastview High School, um, several words and phrases come to mind, but mostly family. Um, and everything that goes with being a part of a family, how we care for each other, how everybody is one but individual, and everyone has their strengths and weaknesses, and we all encourage each other to be the best that we can be. It is more than a place to come to work. It is more than a place to go to school. And that's something that's very, very important to us, is that uh, students, parents, teachers, feel as if this is a part of their family, uh, an extended part of their family. I think there really is such a thing as the Eastview family. I know when I was in high school, and I know a lot of other people, um, when they're in high school, this is basically your home away from home. I think I spent just as much time here between school and activities as I did at my own house. And so it's really important to have that connection. And when I was here, I felt like people really knew who I was. Um, you're not just, an, just another face down the hallway. There is a feeling, there's a feeling of coming home here that everybody's in it together, uh, that the teachers, the parents, the students, the administration, they're all pulling together for the same thing, and that is education for our students at the highest level. Behind us, even though we are still quite young, is a rich tradition of accomplishment. Thousands of students pursuing their full potential, academically, in the arts, in athletics and activities, and as wonderful young men and women. As a staff member in District 196, I've watched buildings grow from the planning stage to the opening, and I can say that this building was well planned, not just the physical plant, but the plan for how the students and staff and administration were going to interact, how everything would flow without exception. It's, it was well planned and well thought out. And what you will see this afternoon when we turn you loose for the tour is indeed the collective efforts of hundreds and hundreds of people. You're gonna like what you see. Supporting our journey has been a strong community with high expectations and financial contribution to match. And outstanding state-of-the-art facilities and grounds with a school building that is all at once warm, inviting, intimate, and inclusive, and that is both flexible and adaptable to meet the changing needs of our students. It's just like anything else, uh, it's kind of what you make of it. And being a new school, we got to create the identity. We got to think about what kind of colors we wanted to have for Eastview. Um, the name Eastview, the mascots, everything from designing letter jackets um, to class rings and trying to have our first entering classes lay the groundwork for what we're going to try and have Eastview represent for years to come. Students, parents, and staff, who would eventually call high school number four their own, came together to create the identity for their school and to dream about the ideal school that they would like Eastview to be, to create the guiding principles that we now call our puzzle pieces that were and still are intended to give direction to the current and future generations of the school as to how we do our important work at Eastview High School. And any time you include people in a process such as that, they take ownership. And those feelings of ownership and the positiveness of, of the whole experience, I think, passed on and on and on. 
Some people may look at our puzzle pieces and think, well, that's just a gimmick. But it's only a gimmick if you don't back it up. And the thing that I think has separated Eastview and its administration, its staff, and its families is that we've embraced that and we try to back it up. And so it's, it's more than just a, a slogan or a symbol, but it's become an identity that all people want to wear. And I think that what we've seen here is that because of that great foundation of including people's ideas and perceptions, you today have the Eastview High School community. Good morning and welcome to the first ever edition of The Flash at Eastview High School. As the first student body president of Eastview High School, and on behalf of the first student body and the thousands of students to follow, we enthusiastically thank you for this Eastview High School, home of the lightning. Every year as a, as a math teacher, as a coach, I'm able to interact with kids and every year I learn something more about myself and I learn something more about them and how to be a better teacher and how to be a better coach. Parents play a huge role at Eastview, whether it's in the booster clubs or um, just coming to events, supporting the, the kids with buying tickets or supporting their kids at home. That parents can be so involved here is the reason that parents are so involved here. They see other parents doing certain things and they want to get in on the action and so it's just a natural evolution of things. My definition of being successful would be going for it, basically. You know, those, those three words are just huge. Just go for it. More than 200 staff members chose to share their professional talents at Eastview High School because they truly understood and appreciated the origins of the Eastview Learning Community. The direction of ECU comes from the top, and I would say the administrators we have are probably second to none. If you can't work at this school for these people, uh, you probably don't belong in education. Uh, I honestly, I look to Dick Dewey an awful lot when I'm thinking role model and when I'm thinking how do I want to be as a person and as a leader. I would like to thank the staff at Eastview High School for all that they have given me and all of the leadership and motivation and the positive feedback that they've given me throughout the years. I just want to thank everyone. I really appreciate it. We've had a series of either a, a suicide of a student or the death of a student or, or um, you know, an illness, a serious illness of a, of a, of a teacher in her building or those sorts of things. Even after 9-11, how you come together as a family and as a person, you're measured by how you deal with those crises. And I believe that um, somehow we rely on each other, we go right back to those puzzle pieces in terms of who we are and what we believe, we pull ourselves together as an organization and, and as the Eastview family when t things are really, really hard. These guiding principles have become and remain our attitude, and our agenda for action within the Eastview Learning Community. A place where, in fact, by multiple measures, the successes of students at Eastview High School are the gold standard for high schools across the nation. I still think there's a lot of, of work to do, and maybe that's when you when you think about ideals isn't that always a part of it always that that journey striving to achieve something that that may not ever be achievable a perfect school um, but gosh the journey is pretty important from my standpoint i'm always looking for the perfect lesson plan uh, i haven't done it yet but you know i'm not going to quit and i'll just keep working at it and trying to find that perfect lesson and constantly improve you have to improve, you can't stand still in education. I want to have the best band that I possibly can be. 
for the kids first of all, but I also want to make sure that it's one of the one of the really outstanding programs because there's a great choral program going on down the hall, and there's a great art program, and there's a great speech program, and there's a wonderful Bravo thing, and there are great academics, and I want to be a part of those great activities and those great things. You need to come with the thought that you've got the opportunity to achieve almost anything that you want here. And you need to consider that as a very special thing. That's not something that's ordinary. That's not something you find everywhere. Ahead of us will be the continuing passion to be extraordinary, the ongoing commitment to be better than even we think we can be, a plan to make educational equity a reality, all students reaching their full potential, and the collaboration, teamwork, persistence, and courage to continue our journey to extraordinary. Everything that exists here is by design and this, this was all part of the intended plan but at the same time ideas are just that and it wouldn't work if the people who were here, both staff and students, didn't really believe it. This is the end of our high school years, but I have come to appreciate the adage that it's not the destination, but the journey that matters in the end. And what a journey it has been. Congratulations. I know what it felt like to be a student here, and uh, I knew that that feeling had to be very similar as a teacher and, you know, maybe even more rewarding on the other side of things. And, you know, I did student teaching at different schools. Um, I did a lot of long-term sub positions. And um, I never had that, that same feeling at those other places that I get when I am at Eastview High School, the sense of community and how much everybody cares about everyone else here. What we're after is not greatness. Greatness is a state of being. We're after something beyond greatness. It's more a state of becoming. It's the journey to extraordinary. <laughs>